Hi friends, I'm Mansoor Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about how to set backup compression in SQL Server. So uh, Microsoft has introduced backup compression feature uh, from SQL Server 2008. Uh, this feature is very useful to save the time. It reduces I/O, device I/O, and storage cost, and it is also a good backup strategy option. You can configure uh, backup compression at instance level so that if you perform any database backup, that database will be compressed by default. Or you can also set backup compression at individual database level. So here uh, I'll show you both the methods. So backup compression and database level. Okay, you can set backup compression by TSQL or SQL Server Management Studio. So I'll switch to my uh, SQL Server Management Studio okay the command is backup database database name to disk and you can give uh, backup path and uh, this is the command with compression okay so it will uh, backup your database with compression so first of all I'll uh, backup database in normal format okay without compression I'll select it and execute it now you go, I'll go to this C drive backup uh, folder now you can see this uh, books info dot back uh, total size uh, is 448 KB okay this is because uh, my compression is set at database instance level so I'll go to properties database setting this is set at instance level I'll uh, remove this compress backup uh, option from instance I'll click on OK okay now I'll again take the backup in normal format Okay, I'll uh, first delete this backup file because it is over. Uh, it is not overriding. It is appending. Okay. Now I have removed compression option from instance level. I'll take a normal database backup. Database backup successfully done now I'll go to this path now you can see a uh, books info dot back this is the normal size of this database backup now I'll uh, go to this command and I'll take the backup with compression okay I'll just rename this file name underscore zero to backup file name now I'll select backup database database name to disk equals to path and then with compression I'll execute it Okay, backup is completed now I'll go to this path now you can see this one uh, this is 448 this is uh, the same backup okay both files are both backups are same except that this is uh, not in uh, compression and this is with compression okay so you can uh, save uh, enough space by setting this option okay now uh, you can uh, do backup compression at instance level okay first of all uh, I'll show you uh, uh, through database also you can uh, right click on database go to tasks backup go to select a page options now you have option set backup compression so at database level you can set okay you have three option use default server setting compress backup and uh, do not compress backup you can set compress backup and click on ok so whenever uh, you'll take backup it will be in compress format so this is done now you can uh, do backup compression at instance level okay this is the same option which I have sh shown you earlier right click on instance go to properties now click on database setting right uh, uh, you can see okay, compress backup is not set right now okay so I'll just execute it through TSQL you can do the same or uh, through SSMS you can uh, do the same setting okay so I'll, I, I'll, I'll execute sys.sp underscore configure backup compression default to one okay reconfigure with override I'll execute it now uh, this value is changed from zero to one and you can check it go to right click on instance go to properties then database setting and this compress backup setting is done okay so whenever you will take backup 
of any database in this instance okay so it will be in compressed format now you can also do uh, backup with no compression suppose you have already set this property okay database setting is in a compressed backup uh, this is enabled now you, if you want to take backup uh, with normal format without compression then you have to mention with no compression backup database database name to disk equals to your path and with no compression so I'll just put underscore zero three okay and I'll execute it backup database successfully processed now I'll go to my folder now you can see with no compression you have database backup in normal format okay without compression so you can do the same at database level and at instance level with TSQL and with SSMS so if you like my video you can subscribe to my youtube channel or you can uh, visit to my website sqlserverlog.com i have written this article how to set backup compression in sql server you can read this article okay and you can subscribe to newsletter you can uh, join me on facebook and if you have any query you can leave a reply thank you